In this video, we're going to show you how to create a custom smart plan, specifically what I am calling a care plan. So I'm here inside of command and I went to the actual smart plans widget. Now I'm going to click create to create one, but I want to show you what I've already made. You have the ability to create your own and I wanted a plan that would allow me to follow up and just check in on people in a time that they need it most. So I'm going to show you what I created. So when I click create a plan, here's the smart plan I came up with. Okay, so this is the smart plan I made. Now I made a copy of it so that you can actually see the ability to add your own task items. So if this is your first time creating a smart plan, my advice is to come here where it has to see tips and rules, click here and click there to actually see the actual rules around creating one so that you can learn how to do this. Now here's what I did. I started with an actual, the trigger event will be the contact, but I started number one with a phone call. The first thing I want to do today is just call on people and show that we care. That's kind of the task item I made myself. So I said care call with, and here's the way I learned to do this. On the right hand side, you have these little tags that you can do as kind of like a mail merge fields where you can use for merge fields and it gets it from the contact record. So my advice and what I figured doing this is start with what you want the last part to be and then go to the first. So in this case, I wanted to see the phone number in the task. So I said contact phone number first, then I did the last name and then I did the first name and it will put it in the right order. My playing with this, I discovered that when I was clicking on it in the order, it was putting them reversed. And then I did the whole show we care. Let's call and just ask how they're doing. How is their family doing? And is there anything we can help them with right now? That's just a task I wanted to make sure that I did to remind me to do a phone call. And it's going to be due that day. So that was step one. Then I decided to add a delay here of about five days. So I'm not overwhelming them. You can make it less. So I hit set delay and we set it for five days. Then I came and number three was to do a text message. I wanted to automatically text my database and check in with them. So here I did a text message. Now I'm using a static one, which is just here's the message. Dynamic would go through different options. However, I'm just gonna keep it simple. So I said hi and grab first name. And I did it's Jay Cermak with the J team at Kell Williams. I wanted to check in and see how are you and your family doing? How are you? That's it. That was just what I wanted to type. And I want it to be a message so I can see if I can get an inter interaction with them. Because then we could just have a text dialogue back and forth. So I was basically waiting five days to do my next touch. Then I added another delay and we did a delay for two days. Then I went to send them an email. Now I went with the simple email so I could write my own thing. And I did the stay up to date on the real estate market in this time of uncertainty. So I kind of wrote a message and if you like it, feel free to copy, but just think about what would you do? So my goal was to actually help them with neighborhood information so they can stay up to date. So I kind of wrote this message of, hey, with all the world in a state of uncertainty, we want to ensure that you stay informed what's happening specifically in the real estate market related to your home values. We don't send information about all of the US. We like to send specific information only about your neighborhood and the neighborhoods you care about. We just like spam, just like the next person. So if you would like to receive this once a month email regarding your neighborhood plan, simply hit reply and let me know your current address and any additional neighborhoods nearby you want to know about. Would it be okay to send you a monthly neighborhood email regarding your specific neighborhood question mark? Hope you're well in this time of uncertainty. If there's anything my team and I can do for you, please let us know. And then I wrote my signature. So that was an email. I added another delay. I waited a day after that and I created a task to remind me to add them to the neighborhood if they respond with an address. So I'm gonna send them the email to see if I can get a response. Then I'm gonna check the next day and leave a task item here just to see when they do it that I actually add them to the smart plan. Kind of like a reminder. Then I added a delay for three days and then I would send them a new email. This time I wanted to have a new way to do real estate experience. My goal is if I did the neighborhood nurture, that's great. Yet I also wanna offer them value with my mobile app. So I wrote this one, there is an email about the app, but I wanted to be able to personalize it. So I said, hi, and I used that first name tag. Here's all the merge fields. We wanted to check to see if you need anything. The reason for today's email was to share with you a new way to experience real estate, specifically with staying up to date on what's happening in your neighborhood, to look for homes anywhere in the US, to saving money with Keller Mortgage, saving up to 30% on home insurance with Keller Covered, to understand the buying and selling process, and being able to collaborate with partner with people you care about when you begin to look or sell. There is nothing like this app in the world and we wanted to get it to you just to keep you informed and if we can ever be of service or if we can help save you money in your mortgage or home insurance, we want you to have the information at hand. 
I kind of wrote this, so if you like it, feel free to take it. Uh, this app is completely free, and all you have to do is register one time, and you will unlock the 300,000 neighborhoods across the U.S. and unlock the potential savings of our products. To download, go to, and that's the link that I customized. I have a video on how to do that. And you can download this on iPhone, iPad, and Android at no cost. If you're interested in saving money on refinancing or getting the new mortgage, you can also visit, I did a website called km.jtmfl.com, which just takes them to my Keller Mortgage link, to access your Keller Mortgage to save thousands. And if you're interested in saving money on home insurance, you can visit kellercover.com and mention my name, Jay Cermak, to unlock up to 30% on home insurance. If there's anything we can do for you, please let my team and I know Please know my team and I are dedicated to helping others. Feel free to reach out. And again, a signature. Then I did a delay of two days. And then I want to make another call by the day 14 because I want to call them again and just check in and see how they're doing, if they need anything. I'm going to wait a day. And then I created a task to tell me this has ended and decide what we want to do next. Now, this is just an example of one. You can literally create anything that you want. My advice is kind of put it out the way you want it to. And then you can write it on paper, and then it translate it here with creating a task, sending an email, adding to another smart plan, set a delay, restart the whole flow if you want to. You also could come right here and add a bulk action to add your people. I went ahead and added myself to test this out. I recommend you do that as well. And when I'm done, I hit save, and it will be in my smart plans with care plan. And here again is what we did. I did a phone call within one day, wait five days and send an auto text, wait two days and send them an email about their neighborhoods, wait another day, task, wait a day, delay, send them another email, another delay, phone call, delay, and task. This is just an example of what you can create. Your mind is unlimited in what you can create with these and there's no limit to smart plans. So hopefully you found value in creating your own care plan, smart plan, feel free to like this video, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on KB Connect and YouTube today.